10 and 4 Tennessee Titans are off to Green Bay for Sunday night football taking on the 11 and 3 Packers in a battle of two offenses that can adapt as well as any in the league. Jones left side and get it. Aaron Jones was the Aaron carrying the Green Bay offense last week, going for 145 yards on the ground. And a big play for Aaron Jones. Jones has really started to heat up lately, 90 plus rushing yards in three of his last four, five straight games now with four plus yards per carry. Aaron Jones is one of the most underrated running backs in the league. Aaron Rodgers also had a fine day rushing the ball, taking off five times, one of them ending with pay dirt. Rodgers steps up, eyes on the end zone, hit it in, touchdown. Rodgers, the passer, however, had an unusual blog game. Under 150 yards passing, his yards per attempt just 4.9. Launches down the sideline. It's incomplete. Sacks were a problem against Carolina, which was odd being their pass rush hasn't been all that strong, and Green Bay's protection is usually pretty good. Yet Carolina got to Rodgers five times when it was all said and done. Rodgers in trouble. Able to get away initially, but then Yet, even within all that, Rodgers still managed a rating over 90, didn't throw any picks, and threw one TD pass. Easy throw for Aaron Rodgers and a nice job get the ball into the end zone. That TD throw was his league-leading 40th of the season, making him the only QB in history with three different seasons of 40-plus TD passes. Rodgers, throwing right, it is held on to. And even though Devontae Adams was quiet along with Rodgers in last week's game, he's been almost unstoppable this year, leads the league in receiving yards per game, needs just two more catches to break the century mark in that category. Tennessee is one of the few teams whose offense is just as balanced, though. Their attacks starting with Derrick Henry, of course. Henry, breaking for you, Henry was his typical beastly self last week, running over and by the Lions with relative ease. His latest outing helped him stay on top of the league in both rushing yards and rushing TDs, and he's gone over the century mark in five of his last six games. Henry, quick snap, and he's in for the Tennessee touchdown. The more effective he is, the easier it is for Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill also not having much trouble against Detroit. Tannehill underneath, Evans wide open. And Tannehill also having a stellar season overall. Over 30 TD passes now, rating well over 100 for the year. Tannehill's third down pass, first down and more. We noted last week that Tannehill's favorite target varies week by week. Last week, it was Corey Davis's turn under the spotlight. Takes a shot, pass, Corey Davis still going, and he's in for the touchdown. But depending on the coverage, it can just as easily be A.J. Brown that puts up the big receiver stat line. A.J. Brown, and he's in for the touchdown. So, which defense has the best shot at containing the opposition? Green Bay's pass defense has been in the middling range for most of the year, but they held Teddy Bridgewater to an 82.3 rating, didn't allow him to throw any TDs, and sacked him three times. Bridgewater in trouble and sacked. Packers' pass rush has been anything but middling lately. Three or more sacks now in three straight games, pushing them into the top ten in sacks for the season. Zadarius Smith has led that charge. He now has 11 and a half for the year, picking up at least one in three of his last four. Tannehill is a tough QB to sack, though, as they are top ten in QB takedowns allowed this year, so that's going to be a key battle to pay attention to. What a catch! But it's the Packers' rush D that will really be under the microscope in this one. Green Bay allowed 4.3 yards per carry to the Panthers on the ground last week and have allowed 4.5 for the year. And a good run by Jamal Agnew. Joining them under that microscope, though, will be the Titans' secondary. Over 250 yards and a rating allowed over 100 to Matthew Stafford last week. Stafford takes a chance. What a pass! And their numbers against the pass for the season aren't much better. Rating allowed in the mid-90s while giving up over 260 passing yards a game. Goes towards the end zone, and it is cold. And what will Jones be facing when he runs? Tennessee allowed the Lions to put up 4.6 a run against them, and also have allowed in the four and a half a carry neighborhood for the season. Uh, that's gonna be a first down run of 11. Man. Feels like this could be a shootout, doesn't it? Which team can impose its offensive will on the other more often? Tighten up or go Pat go? Let's see those predictions find their way into the comments section. Should be a lot of them for this game. We have the same number that we always do, though, and they go in the same spot as they usually do. Fake to Jones in the flats. They'll get it here. Tunyon's in. Touchdown. Tenth of the season. Seven and three. From the Lions 17 yard line. Tannehill sells the fake well. He's going to run for it. Inside the 10. Tannehill to the end zone. Touchdown.